Welcome to the California Immunization Registry training video, Generating Reminder and Recall Reports. Reminder Recall Training Objectives. Entering criteria to generate reminder recall, generating a standard reminder letter, mailing labels, patient query listing, and custom letters, and creating templates for customized letters. Reminder and recall notices are generated for each patient, provided that the following conditions are met. The patient status is active in the patient information section for your organization. The allow reminder and recall contact indicator in the patient information section is checked yes. The patient has complete address information listed in the address information section. To begin, click reminder recall under reports on the menu panel. To generate reminder recall output, you must first enter the criteria in the reminder recall request page. In the top section called Create New List, you may enter a name for your request. We will be covering how to save a request for reuse later. If you wish to reuse a previous request, select the Use a Previous Reminder Recall Request and choose the request from the drop-down. In the next section called Indicate the Tracking Schedule, CARE will default to the Use Tracking Schedule associated with each patient. Remember, the ACIP schedule is the default for newly entered patients. In the Vaccine Group or Groups section, you can indicate whether you wish to include all vaccine groups in the search criteria or if you wish to include only selected groups by clicking on the appropriate radio button. If you choose to include only selected vaccine groups, select these groups by double-clicking a group or by highlighting a group and pressing Add. Do this for each group desired. This will limit the search to only those patients who will be due or past due for the selected immunizations. However, CARE will provide a list of all immunizations for which the selected patients are due or past due. By default, vaccines due now will be selected. This will return patients eligible for a reminder. If you wish to return patients who are past due for a recall or both, change the selection to the vaccines past due or both. Use of potent vaccinations. Selecting this option allows you to run a recall for only those patients who have previously received a dose that was recorded as subpotent in care. School and primary care provider functionality is currently unavailable in care. Enter additional demographic criteria. Entering a city, zip code, or county will narrow your search to only the patients associated with the entered geographic area. Enter the date criteria. There are two options when entering the date criteria. Target date range. When a target date range is specified, the report will include patients that are due or overdue for immunizations within the date range depending on what option you chose previously. To choose a target date range, enter the beginning date in the from text box and the ending date in the to text box in the full month, day, year format. Birth date range. When a birth date range is specified, the report will return these patients who have a birth date that falls within the range entered. To choose a birth date range, enter the beginning date in the from text box and the ending date in the to text box in the full month, day, year format. Vaccine groups to display. You can indicate whether you wish to display all vaccine groups on the letter or card or if you wish to include only selected groups by clicking on the appropriate radio button. Specify how to sort the report data. This section allows you to specify how the data will be sorted. If a sort order is not specified, CARE will sort the report results first by patient's last name in ascending order, A to Z, then by first name in ascending order. Generate the report by clicking the Generate button located at the bottom of the page. To save the report criteria for later reuse, make sure there is a list name identified at the top and click Save and Generate. Depending upon the number of patients associated with your provider organization, it may take longer to generate the data for various reports. While the data is being generated, the Request and Output Status page indicates the progress of the report. Clicking Refresh will update the status of the report. You may work in other areas of the system while waiting for the Reminder Recall request to complete. You may check the status of your request by clicking on the Check Reminder Status under the Reports menu. When the report is complete, you may click on the dated hyperlink to go to the Reminder Request Process Summary page. The Summary page lists the number of patients involved in the search and the number who met the reminder criteria. From the Summary page, you may create various reminder output options. 
The Reminder Letter Output option allows you to generate a standard form letter for each patient returned on your query. To include up to two lines of free text and or a telephone number on each letter, enter that information in the section under Additional Input. To generate the Reminder Letter, click on the Reminder Letter link. To view the Reminder Letters, click on the Reminder Letters link which is underlined and in blue text. The body of the letter includes the patient's immunization history, recommended immunizations and due dates, and up to two lines of free text and or telephone number if requested. To return to the reminder recall output, you may close this window. Next, let's generate mailing labels. To do so, click on the date link under Started. To generate mailing labels, click on the appropriate mailing labels link, which is underlined and in blue text. When the mailing labels are ready, click on the link to the mailing labels. CARE has generated a mailing label to accompany each of the reminder letters. In this example, the mailing label should be printed on Avery number 5160 labels. To return to the reminder recall output, you may close the window. Next, let's take a look at the patient query listing report. To do so, click on the date link under Started. Under the Reminder Request Output Options, click on Patient Query Listing. To view the patient query listing report, click on the patient list, which is underlined and in blue text. The patient query listing report lists every patient that was returned in the report query process, along with the patient's phone number and address. To return to the reminder recall output, you may close the window. The custom letter output option allows you to generate a customized form letter for each patient returned on your query. CARE allows users to create and store up to three custom letters to be used for reminder recall. To begin, select the Manage Custom Letter link under Reports on the menu panel. To create a new custom letter template, click on New Custom Letter. Choose the number of blank lines you would like at the top of the letter from the drop-down list provided. This allows you to adjust the margin when using organizational letterhead. To include a name with the patient address, select from the drop-down. Check the Include Patient's Address box to include the patient's address at the top of the letter. Enter a greeting, then choose a name option from the drop-down list provided. Enter text in this field. If you wish to include a name within the paragraph, enter text up to the mention of the name in the field marked First Part, ending with a single space. Next, choose the name you would like to appear within the paragraph from the drop-down list, either responsible person, patient name, or no name. In the field marked second part, continue to enter the rest of the text following the name, preceded by a single space. If you do not wish to include a name, you may enter all of the first paragraph text in the field marked first part and select no name from the name drop-down list. Check the Include Immunization History box to include the patient's immunization history in the letter. Enter more text in the Paragraph 2 field if desired. Check the Immunizations Recommendations box to include the immunizations recommended for the patients in the letter. Enter text into the Paragraph 3 field if desired. Enter a closing word or statement. If you wish to include your provider organization's name and or telephone number after the closing, check the appropriate boxes. When the letter is complete, enter the name to save your custom letter and click on the Save button. To generate my new custom letter, I need to click on the Check Reminder status. Next, click the Date link under Started. Notice that the custom letter is now listed under Reminder Request Output Options. To generate the letter, click on the Customer Letter link. As you can see, my custom letter is now complete. To view this letter, click on Custom Letter. As you can see, my custom letter displays exactly the way it was set up in the Custom Letter template. 
To exit this window, you can close the window. Helpful Reminders. To generate Reminder Recall letters, click on the Reminder Recall option under Reports on the menu panel. While you are waiting for the output to finish generating, you can continue out working elsewhere in CARE. Click on Check Reminder Status to view the status of your Reminder Recall output. Reminder Recall output options include reminder letters, mailing labels, patient query listing, custom letters, as well as other options. To set up custom letters, click on Manage Custom Letters under Reports on the menu panel. For additional CARE support, you can reference the CARE User Manual located under the Forms tab on the CARE login page at the URL listed on the screen. Or you can contact the CARE Help Desk by phone at 800-578-7889 or by email at carehelpdesk at cdph.ca.gov.